Welcome to ILTV's Israel Daily. I'm Aaron Porras. And before we begin, I want to again quickly remind you not to forget about our all new streaming platform, ILTV Plus, available on every app store and at ILTV.tv. Now, coming up in today's newscast, Iran deciding it's finally ready to return to nuclear talks with the West, but the West is not quite yet convinced. Meanwhile, the Knesset Finance Committee approving of the long awaited budget plan. And finally, some 200 plus celebrities signing an open letter denouncing an anti-Israel boycott. Iran finally announcing that it's ready to return to nuclear negotiations with the West in Vienna and by no later than the end of November. Iran's deputy foreign minister and chief negotiator in the talks, Ali Bagheri, saying a date for the resumption will be announced over the course of the next week. Already, though, Western expectations that Iran will actually follow through are somewhat low. Iran's foreign minister saying that stating a time or date is not important and only a technicality. And this after months of stringing the West along while advancing Iran's nuclear program. <laughs> امروز در بروکسل ما بعد از اینکه ارزیابی خودمون رو با آقای دکتر باقری امشب داشته باشیم تصمیم میگیریم که آیا در بروکسل زمان شروع مذاکره در مذاکره با چهار علاوه یک رو اعلام کنیم یا در بازگشت ایشون به تهران نیازمند مشورت های بیشتر خواهیم بود Similarly concerning the West you may have noticed that the United States is notably missing from Foreign Minister Amir Abdullahian uh, listed negotiating partners. The diplomat maintaining that the Ayatollah party line that sanctions must be lifted as a precondition for Washington's involvement and perhaps even for Iranian involvement. <laughs> اگر آقای بایدن اراده جدی داره این اراده رو باید به منصه ظهور برسونه و ما بتوانیم باور کنیم که واقعا آمریکایی ها جدی هستند در لغو تحریم ها Now the United States meantime wary from Iran's actions violations and rhetoric still insinuating that no major sanctions will be lifted until Tehran reduces its nuclear activities to within the bounds of the 2015 agreement our commitment remains uh, pursuing a diplomatic path forward. Uh, I would leave it to the negotiators to determine when the next round of discussions will be. Our framing continues to be compliance for compliance, uh, and we'll leave it up to the Europeans uh, and our negotiators to determine when the next step would be. Now joining me with more is Dr. Iran Lerman, editor-in-chief of the newly established Jerusalem Strategic Tribune, vice president of the Jerusalem Institute for Strategy and Security, and former deputy director for foreign policy and international affairs at the Israel National Security Council. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us now. Do you see any nuclear deal coming to fruition without United States involvement? No. Uh, frankly, um, Iran's position is that they have returned to a fast path towards uh, essentially the bomb because the United States has uh, mixed under Trump the um, uh, JCPOA. The United States position is that it is willing to come back to the JCPOA if Iran comes back to compliance without an Iranian-American agreement on uh, um, a reciprocity, that's to say, Iranian return to compliance and perhaps beyond because things have changed and an American willingness to do something about the sanctions, uh, there will be no deal. They can talk to the Europeans to their heart's content, but this will not persuade uh, any, uh, anyone in the Iranian leadership that they've been given a, a reason to change course. So then is there so any... I believe that basically this Brussels uh, game is a dodge. All right, so... so then is there any way that meaningful talks really do pick Only up... Only if the Iranians are willing to come back uh, to the, the Vienna framework, speaking to the Americans about return to the JCPOA plus, namely, um, the thing, there are things that have happened since, like enrichment to 60%, like the tooling of metal uranium, which were not full, covered by the JCPOA arrangements and must be covered, the Iranian position must be rolled back significantly 
for the U.S. to have any reason to roll back uh, the existing sanctions. And without that, without a, the, such a breakthrough, this will not happen. I'm getting increasingly doubtful that the uh, Iranians under Khamenei and Raisi have any interest uh, in, in rolling back their program. They are increasingly doubtful that the United States is willing to act. And without a credible military threat, either from the United States and the international community, or from either Israel or from both, they will not be persuaded to turn back. So Iran has been consistently deepening its violations, as you stated, uh, of the terms of the JCPOA. And the IAEA and many other bodies have also reported as much. Iran, however, continues to argue that any deal must first and foremost benefit Iran. Other than removing sanctions, then what else is Iran looking for? Well, the Iranians um, basically want uh, in uh, the world to, to come to terms with the fact that they are a dominant regional power, that they are free to subvert their neighbors, and that uh, they, are, they have a God-given right to nuclear enrichment, which is not dependent on their conduct. Um, they are now openly attacking uh, Grossi as a Zionist agent. All of this is uh, de de <coughs> derives from an arrogant reading of their situation in terms of the willingness of the <coughs> rest of the world to act. Unless this changes, I don't see a prospect of success.